What's up guys? We are back. It is day eight on the vlog. We're knocking stuff out pretty quick today. Lou's still in there fabbing up on that fender. He's about got one of them knocked out and he'll be on number two hopefully the beginning of the next week. Let's go see what he's got. What do you got Lou? What's going on? Well, it's permanent. So about got a patch. About Couple little things I oh yeah! Do, well, look at that. Just like that. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A little trimming, a little welding, a little tucking, a little grinding. A whole lot of fabbing. A whole lot of fabbing. That's how it's done, boys and girls. He'll be on to this side here shortly. All right, guys, lunch break. We're off to the blaster. Here we go. All right, we're back, Lou's got this thing tacked on here. Man, that looks good on it. Just a little bit of finessing. And boys, we got ourselves a patch. Good, good penetration, look at that. Nice, clean welds. All right, so that's it. Now that's, uh, basically all we'll do from here is just grind these up a little bit more clean them up and then that's where your dura glass is going to come in play so you always want to dura glass your seams that's the way i was taught i've done it that way ever since i was taught that you know close to 20 years ago and that is the best now if you're in a pinch you can't get dura glass I have done it with just regular body filler and I've never had anything come back, but we dura glass these. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll dura glass that all up, smooth that off, and then a skim coat of body filler over that. Block that out and then she's ready for high build primer. So, well, not yet. This one still needs blasted, but I went and wanted him to go ahead and get this stuff cut out. This was the worst of them. So this side here now, so you'll see his patch here. That thing is nifty. It's a good looking patch. So that's what he's working on now. He'll go ahead and tack this one in here. As for me, I'm gonna be taking these doors apart. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change the glass. We're gonna order some glass. She wants those switched out. These ones, I think I showed in a previous video. That one had some weld spatter on it from the previous repairs that were done. Um, so these things are a pain in the butt to disassemble, but we're gonna pull this regulator. We already got most of the door disassembled, but, uh, we're going to pull this regulator out and then slide the window out. These windows are a little tricky. You kind of got to lower it down and then turn it after you get the regulator out. And then you can pull the window up through here once you get it turned like 90 degrees. So that's what i'll be working on right now
All right, so once you take out those five screws, then this whole thing here is just kind of loose. And so then what we got to do next is pry this out like so. Basically, it's pretty easy. It's easier than I thought it was going to be, but so you just pry that out and then you can get this regulator down here, the window and the regulator down here. And then you press these, push these out of these tracks and then you can slide that regulator out. All right, guys, I had to grab the move. I needed a little bit smaller hand. So we've got the window tipped. So the window goes in like this. You have to tip it like this. Okay, so now it's up. Basically, the back side of the window over here is what we're pulling out. And it comes straight out like this. Something like this. Alright, window and regulator is out. Next will be the latch assembly. So we'll go ahead and pull those screws. these screws over here all right pull those and then it this one slides out basically exactly like the regulator just comes down and through this hole and then all that's left is these seals here the do wipe seal and then the run channel seal so we'll pull those out they come out real easy just kind of clip in there Pull that out. All right, I had to set the camera down to get that seal out, so I just basically pulled, right it a little bit, and pulled it straight out. These ones here, basically, you can see they're clipped in. I've already pressed that one. Just take a screwdriver, and I'm gonna have to set the camera down again. Basically, just tap the top with your hand with your top of your hand the palm of your hand my bad and then it will pop it right out of this clip so I'll set it down and do that across here all right before I pop this last one so what I was talking about if you pop your screwdriver right here and hit the top it'll bust it out like this and then you just take your screwdriver and give it a little twisty it's got these little button things on the back and it'll come out like this. Now make sure you save all this stuff, every last bit of it until you get this thing put back together and make sure you tape it all together so you know exactly what come off the passenger side. So there's no mistake in it. And then when you go to put your new parts in, you'll already know, you just match it up with your old ones, throw it in there. So that's it for this one. I'll go ahead and pop this one off the same way as the other side and then take these two off and then finish pulling this latch and this door's done.
All right, so I'm big on bagging and tagging. So everything that comes out of this, I'll tape together. So in here's a bunch of screws, latch bolts. Here is the striker and the bolts for it. These are different threaded bolts, so we don't want these things to get messed up, mixed up. These bolts here, I'll tape them up. There's five of those for that. And then I'll put all that stuff down in this bag with the handles and everything that came off and put it all together, tape it up, put it on the shelf on top of the window that it goes to. And then we'll know, hey, everything there goes with that. And that's all passenger side stuff. So, but next, this door strips so the next these doors are actually we're going to send them to blast so when we pick up the bed we're going to take them there's just too much filler in that one door and then after looking there's probably the same amount of filler in this one i don't know if you can see how wide that flares out not supposed to be like that so we're just going to go ahead and let them eat that off for us and save us the time and energy they have bigger equipment and they're quicker and we won't even have to waste the time stripping those so we will do the cab ourselves, um, more than likely, but the cab is going to have to come off to make a few repairs. And that was not part of the original process, but here we are. So doors are coming off, cabs coming off. Got the driver's side out. Duct tape almost fixed it. See, it almost fixed it. That made it a pain in the butt to get the regulator out though, because that kept wanting to separate. So I had to get Lou again and get this one out, but all we got left on this side is the latch. Lou's over there cracking on this thing. Got his patch looking good. All right, Lou's got this side pretty much ready to weld up. I just wanted you guys to see this. So we use these here and they'll hold the panel on both sides, but still allow you to weld it. It works great. You can even, I mean, it'll help keep it 100% in place. But you can just see how well he got this one to fit. So that's a complete replacement right there. This will look, when he's done, it'll look exactly like what it did before he started. And that's what we're going for. All right, Lou's got this thing finished, tacked up, and lightly knocked these welds down. Look how gnarly this thing is. Looks amazing. Now this one's ready for sandblast, guys. Clean it up. Get all the rest of this crap off like we did the rest of them. And we'll have a complete fender. Ready for uh, epoxy and bodywork. Well, if Lou would just quiet down for a minute, I wanted to tell you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.